What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. Happy new decade. Hope you all had an incredible Christmas and new year. Um, if you're new to the channel, then welcome. My name's Hannah and I've been learning how to trade for the past two years. Started in January 2018 and really this channel is all about documenting the entire process, the ups, the downs, everything. And um, I'm excited to bring this video because I'm gonna try and explain in a different way to what you might have seen. Um, if you didn't know, I studied aerospace. So when I was trying to think of a, a way or a story, a process, a journey that might stick, then I sort of came up with this analogy, this concept um, of, you know, how to start trading in 2020. So um, sit back, relax, don't forget to thumbs up the video and um, let me know what you think down below and let's get into it. So guys, step one, it's basically having a flight plan. And what I mean by that is having long-term vision. I know how easy it is to just start trading sort of off the wrong foot. So really this is about just minimizing as much um, sort of potential for you to get sort of messed up, which is really what happens to a lot of us. It happened to me, I sort of got off the wrong foot with trading because I didn't ask myself questions and I just sort of jumped straight into it. Of course it's good and bad, but if you're watching this video and you're brand new to the markets and you want to start trading in 2020, then be sure to ask yourself the right questions of, you know, why do you want to start trading, where you're actually going to find the information. You know, you've got to have that end goal in mind. And of course that will come gradually, but this is really sort of the digging phase and I'm just sort of sharing this out of my own experience, out of my own journey, out of my own stories and mistakes um, so that you guys can learn from them. So for example, there's a lot of things out there such as signal services, um, courses that have no sort of um, credit uh, from people who have no credit, from people who claim things and it's it's sort of like you've got to be careful, you've got to be smart and I feel like that first step to being smart out there online or trying to find information is to just ask yourself like why do you want to do it? Is it just, just for the money? Because um, of course there's going to be a deeper reason why that is um, and so that you can just be a little bit more smart when you're coming into the forex world so again guys it's about having a flight plan before you know you start taking off before you start making progress um you got to have that sort of mindset have those good habits in the beginning because at the end of the day like signal services are not going to help you no matter what they say there's all those um those catchphrases they say earn while you learn and that's not going to help you at all if you want to if you want to trade full time in the long term imagine trading you know, five, six, seven figures and then still relying on X person on Instagram. What if that person, you know, just doesn't like stops posting and things like that, then you're sort of screwed. Like you don't know, you don't have the independent thinking of um, how to trade really. So that's why I'm super against signal services, no matter how sensitive they may be, that sh is just going to block you from being where you want to go. Because at the end of the day, guys, if you want to learn how to trade, do it properly, um, stop cutting corners. That's just not gonna do anything good for you. Um, and I'm definitely speaking out of experience and I'll, I've spoken to a lot of other traders and you know, signal services, just cut them out, cut them out of your plan, cut them out of your mindset. So ultimately, like these things are just really gonna steer you away from your flight plan. So they're poison, cut them out um, and yeah. so. So actually talking about steering away from your goal and your flight plan, um, you actually have to learn how to steer. And this is really, um, you know, finding the right strategy, learning to steer. You got to have a good strategy that it's solid and that you've back tested. And, um, you know, having your strategy, steering, steering the plane, steering for your trading journey, it's sort of like, you got to know what controls to use and when to use them. Similarly, in trading you've got to know what the charts are sort of saying even basic things like uh you know what is a green candle what is a red candle like those little basic things they seem to get overlooked on trust me it's not as bad as you think i feel like um i came from like indicators and all these different strategies i was like strategy jumping which is like the worst thing especially if you're doing it long term but you know in the beginning you'll find sort of what works for you and then i ended up um, trading like price action, market structure, so that really resonated with me rather than having all these indicators that honestly I had no clue what they even meant. Um, started off with things like <clears throat> RSI, MACD and it's like oh when these things cross over that's when you buy or sell and, and again I was just trading off of an indicator 
which made absolutely no sense to me and usually by the time I would buy or sell the move had already begun so again those those things were time lagging so um, that's sort of why I stuck with like price action it gave me a lot more clarity and you know there's patterns and everything like the markets um, humans have like patterns or sleeping patterns are um, you know reproductive patterns um, things like that so seasons have patterns um, so they're everywhere even in the market because guys determination alone will not move your aircraft will not steer your aircraft as well as determination alone persistence alone is not going to just make you a consistently profitable trader you've got to have proper guidance um, proper mentorship and that's what it's really about let's say you've got your flight plan you're learning to steer and now comes stage three which i think is the most important part which is really upgrading your engine and guys the engine that i mean is the thing between your two ears which is um your mind upgrading your mind upgrading your engine um there's no point like you know with a plane with a car whatever having tinted windows i don't know the sickest paint job i don't know double deckers free Wi-Fi on your plane, but then if you have a shitty engine or one that doesn't even work, then you're not going to get anywhere. And that's the same thing with your mind, right? You can have, um, I don't know, the most expensive laptop, but then if you're not working on your mind, then you're not going to get anywhere. And like, it's so important that you understand that you're never going to take off if you don't have a working engine. You're never going to become a consistently profitable trader and um, again, I'm trying to be careful with when I say consistently profitable trader because I am profitable at the moment um, and consistently for X amount of months, not X amount of years. Bear in mind that I've been trading for two years. So I'm going to try and be careful because I just know people will troll. Um, but I just know, I, like for example, I'm not going to become, I'm not going to be where I want to be if I'm not working on my mindset. And that's also outside of trading. And I think, the most important thing if you want to start trading is to really work down drill down on your processes um, whether that be things like forecasting your morning routine your evening routine um, just being able to keep promises to yourself when you're going to do something um, especially when it does come to trading because there's going to be days where you will be tested where you know you might have family you might have work and then you'll be tired when you come home but you still have to come home forecast the markets be able to document journal your trades um, on the weekends and set time aside for that. So again, that requires you to upgrade your engine to allow you to have the capacity to do that. Like, this is why I'm really trying to share this this lesson in in a in a progressive way um, through an analogy of a plane. <laughs> Anyways, um, on to the next part. So the next part of your journey that you would need to understand if you wanted to start trading Forex is being able to clear the runway and by this I mean practice and just be persistent enough and committed enough to, to just see the market through and just keep putting the work in really. The hardest part of flying a plane is actually just getting it off the ground. Similarly, when you're trading, when you're starting a business, it takes a while to, to get that momentum, to get that thing going. You really do need to go all in. If you guys didn't know this or not, you have to be at 100% like throttle, full throttle, um, in order to actually drive a plane to, to lift off. Um, similarly, like if you're trading, you can't, you can't go half-hearted. You've got to go all the way. You've got to go 100%. Even if you're 99%, you know, the plane won't lift off. Similarly, I keep saying similarly. I don't even know, I feel like this, this analogy is so cringy, um, but hey, so back to what I was saying, uh, you can't go 50-50 and expect to see like massive growth in your trading journey, you've got to have that long term vision, you've got to be committed to learning your strategy, um, your processes, no matter what, right? Because at the end of the day, it's a marathon, not a sprint, that's the point of this whole analogy, is that, is that it's not just you do A, B, C, D, it's sort of like you'll do these things and you do these things progressively because you've got to have that long-term vision at the end um, and that's sort of the beauty of the analogy that I'm sort of saying is because it starts with the end in mind 
like a lot of people go into trading um, with the get rich quick mindset and for me in our analogy of like sort of a plane taking off that that screams to me as if these like those people with that mentality and who still have those mentality who who have those um, I don't know 1k to 100k flip in 24 hours that kind of mentality they feel like the runway is only like one meter but this, in reality the runway is is a lot larger than that so as a plane you'll probably crash and burn it's not sustainable have the long runway have that practice upgrade the engine and you'll be able to like sail much more smoothly this is so cheesy <laughs> ultimately you have a long runway um I, I want you guys to sort of have that mindset that the runway is long but in order to clear it you have to go all in Now the final step, let's say you've been putting in the work, this could be, I don't know, one year, two years, three years, three months, whatever, um, you take off. And of course, when you take off, you know, that, that's great. As we all know, when you do go flying on an airplane, or if you didn't know, there's a thing called turbulence. And of course, turbulence in our analogy is basically things like, I don't know, um, it could be family drama, dealing with depression, a death in the family, your trading broker takes your money, whatever. Those little things that are just gonna try and knock you off, um, gonna shake your plane, gonna shake your mindset, and you might be thinking, fuck this. I'm, you might wanna just throw in the towel and leave. But if you did your flight plan, if you learn how to steer, and if you upgrade your engine, you'll be fine. So there you have it. I know that was super cheesy, but the whole point was, I really wanted you guys to understand that it's a journey to process. It's not just five simple things to start trading for us. It's a lot more than that. And uh, hopefully you got some key takeaways. I think one of my favorite one was how you have to understand that the runway is long. Um, the biggest things that sort of <sighs> hinders traders, I guess, is the whole getting coming into Forex with the wrong foot and um, coming with the get rich quick mindset and then not being able to understand that the runway is long. So if you enjoyed the video, um, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.